Hi, how's it going? Here we are at Stray Paws Animal Haven this morning out in El Monte, California. Um, I'm gonna be driving several TNR cats up to Burbank. Here we are at Stray Paws. So these are the TNR cats that I will be taking up to Fix Nation. There's a little cutie in there. Good morning, Mr. Goss. Good morning, how's it going Do today? All right. Got three TNR cats in the back. I'm not sure what they look like because I haven't had a chance to see them yet. Uh, driving through Pasadena right now. There's the Colorado Street Bridge. It's a beautiful bridge over the Arroyo Seco. Doesn't have a dark or disturbing history at all. And here we are at Fix Nation in Burbank. So here are the three. We got their paperwork all filled out on top. Ooh, nice little calico. Hey friend. Oh, look at this guy. Yeah, that's pretty. He's very handsome. Mine unloaded, and um, I'm going to help my friend Jackie here, who just showed up, unload. She's uh, at Lux Paws on Instagram. She's the one of the champion trappers in Los Angeles. Really takes care of almost everything in uh, the Silver Lake area. Um, go give her a follow on Instagram. Okay, now that that's all done, um, we're gonna start driving back to El Monte. They're back at Stray Paws. Gonna go in, start taking care of some chores, and I will show you a few real cute cats. Tilly. Tilly's a good little kitty. She's a Siamese cat who was found in a, a hoarding situation. Um, had a very bad ear infection. That's why she's a little bit wobbly when she walks around, kind of tilted. But she's incredibly sweet. We love her here. Hilly. Hilly is a snaky cat. She likes to slither around. Who's in here? I don't know. Let's see. Oh, hi. This is Sandy. Sandy is friendly, but she gets scared whenever I try to touch her. This is Maxine. Maxine is the senior cat, 11 years old. She's got a little shoulder issue. That's why she has a little sweater on. She's very nice though. She's very, very affectionate. Has really nice little paws. Loves to get a good scratch go. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at her go. This is Butt Boy. Butt Boy's a good dude. He uh, was born with some butt issues and needed a surgery to get running normally. There's Haley. He's just very aloof now. He likes to be touched, but only on his terms. This guy's looking great. He's been in here for a few weeks now. He's trying to get healed up from a shoulder injury. He's a very good boy who loves pets and scratches. These flame point Siamese's are just all so friendly. And he's just a classic flame point. That's an orange cat and a Siamese, all in one. And look at those beautiful blue eyes. He had a bit of a flea allergy though, and that's why there's this bald patch on his cheek and on his uh, on his neck there. Um, he's getting better now that we've got the fleas off of him, got the medication on him. Look at that face, look at the face. Butt Boy's just so mad at me all the time, I don't know why. He's just like, don't touch me very much, but like also I want to stare at you all the time. Sandy, why won't you let me pet you? Oh wait, we got some progress. Oh no, no, no. This is a very sweet princess of a cat. She was had two kittens in here um, that have been since adopted out. And then Tilly is just, you know, always hanging out, always wanting some pets. She really makes it fun here at work. She like, it's a good day whenever you get to come in and spend some time with Tilly. Hi, look at that face. You know, even though I could hang out in here with these guys all day and play with them, uh, I have a lot of stuff to do out there. So I'm going to get cracking and show you what's going on out there. But it is so distracting. I could just hang out all day with Maxine. We should just hang out instead of work. Should we do that instead of work? All right, so this is some of the stuff that I do here. This is all donated by Chewy.com. All these pallets are. We just go through these. We hand them out to residents of El Monte. We've got beds. We've got Churu Pops. We got ghosts. If anyone has bad dogs, come on and get some food. I also finished assembling this today, this interesting little pen. It should be able to hold several different animals while uh, in this cubicle unit that I also put together. I also cleaned all these today, washed those, those are all fresh. Go. 
This is Riley. She has ringworm, but she's so cute that I really want to touch her. But I can't because I would end up possibly spreading ringworm to other cats in the place that I actually do want to touch as well. All right, here we are back at Fix Nation. I'm sorry, friend. It's been such a tough day for you. I'm so sorry, my friend. But your ear is all tipped now. And you are tipped as well, my friends. Look at that cute ear. And last but not least, let's get you going. Set down. Do you feel better now that you've been neutered and spayed? Actually, it looks like this one didn't get its ear tipped, so maybe it was not neutered or spayed. Must have had a medical alert. Tipping the ear might seem a little bit brutal or extreme, but it is uh, the universal way of showing everyone that these cats have been fixed, spayed and neutered, and um, yeah, so they won't have to go through this ever again. It is upsetting though to see their little ears and they're all tipped like that. What a little squeaky kitty. If you really don't like the ear tipping thing, maybe you should probably get a cat who's going to get ear tipped and take care of him for the rest of his life. Maybe a suggestion to not have to tip their ears. All right, anyway, now I gotta get back to El Monte to deliver these guys. Just back at Stray Paws, we've got the three cute little kittens. The place is empty. Gonna get rocking and rolling here. Look at this big, handsome boy. Ooh. So forlorn. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay. With that, I'm wrapped up for the day. All unloaded. I drive back to Hollywood now. Yes, it's a lot of driving, but I do it for the kitties. Back in beautiful Hollywood, California now. This is Euphemia, one of my foster babies. Oh, she's so sweet. She's the sweetest. When I get home, I like to let him out and just sort of play in the backyard. I always keep an eye on him. Bayonetta, get back here. This is Bayonetta. She's so cute and tiny. She has a kinky little tail. This is Tyson. He's my real son. He will never be adopted from this place. Oh, and here's my other real son, Lewis. Yep, another permanent fixture in my life who will never be adopted. Last but not least, we have little Jupiter. She had a little eye infection when she was a baby, so her... Uh, has a little cataract or something on her left eye. Um, we'll get her checked out and make sure that it's growing right, but it doesn't give her any problems right now. She's just got a general tood. Ooh, look at that face. That's pretty much Wednesday, my dudes. We'll be back at it again tomorrow, uh, back to Stray Paws and then to Fix Nation. This next time we'll uh, probably have about 30 to 35 cats, though, in the big van. It's going to be a big day tomorrow. In the meantime, Jupy's just going to crawl all over me, and uh, we're going to probably just have some food. I gotta feed these guys and then uh, feed myself and then off to bed. We'll see you next time. You are perfect the way you are.